What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about my top 10 favorite spots to eat here in San Diego. Now I'm not a food critic. I am not a chef. This is just places that I like to eat as an average person here in San Diego. And I also haven't been to every single restaurant here, so there's probably a lot of good ones that I have not hit up yet. But a lot of these are my go-tos or spots I've been to once that just shook my core and I thought I'd like to mention. I'm just gonna go in no particular order. So if you're looking for some places to chow down in San Diego, then, you know, continue watching. First place I'm gonna talk about is It's Raw in Ocean Beach. If you like pokey, specifically Hawaii style pokey, this is the best you're gonna get in San Diego in my opinion. I've had pokey in Hawaii multiple times and this is the most accurate to what it's gonna be like in actual Hawaii. Basically, you get to pick your meat. It's very like fish heavy. A lot of places like Pokey Chop, it's like all about the fixins, but I feel like this place is more about the actual fish. I really like all the stuff with the spicy mayo, so I'll get the spicy salmon and the spicy, like the marinated tuna as my meat and then i'll get the white rice and the mac salad is freaking amazing like this is no mac salad from the grocery store it's like really thinly sliced too i used to get the edamame but i like the mac salad better and then usually they'll give you a little like palate cleanser i don't even know what it is it's like a little white block or something that's a little sweet highly recommend it's kind of a little hole in the wall it's a literal hole in the wall in ocean beach as in like there's nowhere to sit inside it's literally just the counter and there's usually a little bit of a line and you want to go early if you don't want the good meats to run out but usually we'll get our plate and then go sit by the beach and eat it and make sure you get the fear cocky seasoning on top too to put on the rice and everything it's so good for the plate with two scoops it usually comes out to be around like 15 to 17 dollars they also have really good baked desserts on the shelves. It depends on what's there that day, but I've gotten the little like pecan pie bites that are circular. They also have like a taro or ube little like cake things. And they do have those Hawaiian drinks, but they're too sugary for me, honestly. So I don't usually get the, the drinks in the fridge. Place number two is Pop Pie. There are multiple locations for Pop Pie. They just opened one in Pacific Beach the other month, which has been a game changer for me. But there's also one in University Heights, Point Loma, and Costa Mesa slash Newport Beach. I don't know what to say, guys, except for if you have a sweet craving slash dessert craving, you gotta check out freaking Pop Pie because they have savory pies, but they also have sweet pies. My favorite is the coconut caramel crumble one and on top of that they also have really good ice cream that you can put on top of the pie or you can get it separate whatever floats your boat and the ice cream flavors are prime i'm talking like ube ice cream like it's not just plain vanilla out here it is some high quality flavors and the cool thing is they're kind of always shaking it up so the classics are usually there but sometimes they'll have some variations that i've never seen before it's not always gonna be the same menu every time you go i think i've only tried the dessert pies but my friend got the chicken pot pie once and i had a bite and it was actually also really good so pot pie number three is flamingo deck if you're just looking at flamingo deck it looks like just a bar right it's really cute, it's got really nice decor, but sometimes places that are aesthetic don't have good food. But Flamingo Deck, let me tell you, actually has some freaking divine food. It's actually my go-to, I go there multiple times a month and the food does not disappoint. I've gotten the truffle pasta, the bolognese, my friend loves the chicken piccata, which is like a straight up Thanksgiving meal with chicken and mashed potatoes and everything. We've gotten the appetizers before, like the whole cheese platter thing, the drinks, are also really good they have a tiramisu cocktail i have friends who have gotten the chicken caesar salad as well which is like huge huge portions i'm not a salad person myself so i can't speak to that but multiple of my friends have gotten the chicken caesar salad and enjoyed it oh and they also have pies aka pizzas and my favorite one is the prosciutto arugula one if i'm feeling a little more healthy i'll get the prosciutto arugula pie but my favorites are usually the pastas and it's nice because it is right on the beach so you have really close beach access if you want some drinks and food then flamingo deck in pacific beach i highly recommend number four is king fisher this is on the michelin guide so this is more like upscale like more 
bougie, fancy. It has a really cool bar in the middle. It's really unique because their food is actually Vietnamese French fusion. And my roommates and I went here around the holidays and they had a cute little Christmas tree. It was very cozy. It was, we all agreed, some of the best food that we've ever had. We were devouring the food. We got the beef tartare, so fresh. We got the wild mushroom congee. I think the menu, again, is always changing here. We also got some sort of fried chicken at the time, which I was doubtful. I was like, I'm, I don't really like, like, chicken, to be honest. But that fried chicken, like, melted off the bone. Ooh. Yeah, at the time, there was crispy chicken wings. We also got the grilled and smoked eggplant. And then the drinks we got were the Vietnamese spritz, jungle fang, and the Saigon moped. No complaints on anything that we got and super aesthetic a little bit on the pricier side but it is on the michelin guide so what do you expect number five let's talk about some pasta spots i'll give two here because seneca in little italy is so good we went there for my friend's birthday they have some of the best pasta i have ever had in san diego i really like the bolognese i also like the vodka pasta and it's like at the top of a building so it has a really good kind of rooftop vibe and it's also very cozy at nighttime like the inside gets super dark and it's lit up by kind of like candlelight there's like outdoor seating and indoor seating but there's also Enoteca in Pacific Beach. They might have other locations. I've only been to the one in Pacific Beach. It's really cool because they have a projector that starts to play a movie at a certain point, like around dinner time. So that really adds to the whole vibe. My favorite thing that I've ever gotten there is the Oreo Chete. Oh, the Oreo Chete. I could eat that every single day. I'm not even kidding. They also have like unlimited bread that's, that keeps coming out. And when you get like the fresh out of the oven hot bread, it has cheese in it too. Like that in itself, I sometimes get full on just the bread. Okay, and then if you like Spanish food, surprisingly, a really good spot in Pacific Beach called Costa Brava. Very, very cute. Like you wouldn't expect from the outside, but you go inside and you're like transported. Sometimes they have dancers in there and like performances going on. And there's a whole back area that's outside. Like I've been to Spain, okay? And it actually reminds me of this very specific restaurant that I went to in Spain. It actually looks very similar to that. They did a good job. Their sangria, we always get to share for the table, is chef's kiss. Dangerous. Tastes too good, honestly. They have really good paellas if you're into that, but we usually get, ooh, I've gotten the jamón ibérico and the jamón serrano. Popo a la gallega, if you like calamari type things, is really good. Croquetas de jamón is a classic. Patatas a la brava is a must. It's basically just like a fancier french fry, but the sauce is so good. But it's tapa style, so you get a bunch to share for the table. I always see like huge groups of people there. It's also a good date spot, great for many occasions. I have not been there for any of the performances, but I know they happen. Moving it back to dessert, you have to try Bing House in Convoy. This place has bingsu, and I usually go with a couple people and we'll get the watermelon bingsu. It's literally in like half a watermelon. They have little watermelon balls. They got the shaved ice. I think that's what bingsu is. It's like flavored shaved ice with like cream in it. And then they have these little like squishy things at the bottom that are sweet. And then there's also like freaking fruity pebbles. It sounds weird, but it just trust me. It's really good. Oh, there's also ice cream. And then it comes with like ice cream too. And if you're not into that stuff, they also do have like rolled ice cream. And it is also just like a coffee shop. Like people chill there and do work. They also have a honeydew being soup. Never tried that one. I think the watermelon one is the most popular. They have apparently mochi nuts now. I'm not a big fan of mochi donuts to be honest, but I know a lot of people are. Next we have pho. Because if you don't like pho, I don't know. We gotta reevaluate our friendship. A classic is pho time in PB. Not the most aesthetic place, but has really good pho, okay? The soup is really good. I get the filet mignon one. If you want a bigger one, get the number one. That one comes with everything and it's really big. The filet mignon one is a little smaller, has a little less meat, which works for me because I'm not a huge meat eater. The broth is very flavorful. They also have really good spring rolls and like egg rolls. I usually get that as an appetizer with the lettuce. You wrap it in the lettuce. Ooh. And they're really generous with their sides. So you get a bunch of bean sprouts and like mint leaves and stuff that you can put in. But there's also a place called Pho Duen Mai, more in Convoy. And that place, the broth tastes slightly different. I feel like it was a little mintier taste, but also amazing. I think both of those Pho spots will definitely satisfy the Pho craving. 
I have to put Din Tai Fung on that list. It's not unique to San Diego. There's also Din Tai Fung in Seattle and like other places. That place never disappoints. I just went there yesterday with my friend actually. Like that is like a go-to spot for me and some of my friends. It, there's usually a massive wait, but if you're lucky, if you're only like two people and you try to sit at the bar, it actually sometimes does not take that long. Like we were seated right away yesterday, which was a Tuesday night. The spicy wontons must the spicy cucumbers the string beans the freaking pork rib things the chocolate but dessert buns i like the fried rice with shrimp and then also the noodles like the sesame noodles the spicy ones and then also the diced beef like the last one on the list so good and then of course the soup dumplings are a classic guys I think they actually put crack in their food because it is so addicting. I door dashed it twice in a row the other week. It was so expensive. I don't know why I did it, but I had a craving. And like once you eat it, it's hard to eat other things. Like once I remember that Dentai Fung exists, it's hard for me to go back to normal food. But a kind of alternative for Dentai Fung that's also really good is Tasty Noodle House in Convoy. They have similar things. They have soup dumplings. It's like Asian kind of dim sum style but they also have like really good fried rice. They have these meat rolls. You know, pretty much everything I mentioned just at Dente Fung, they have a variation at Tasty Noodle House, but there usually is a little bit of a wait there as well. Okay, I don't even know what number I'm at, but this is the last one I'm gonna talk about, and it is Sushi Kuchi. I don't know if this is a hot take. It's my go-to sushi spot for affordable freaking sushi. Their tuna is so fresh. I always get the rose roll. It's, oh, the rose roll is my absolute favorite. But all the ro the rolls that are on the 40% off menu, it's always 40% off. Those are my favorite. And they also have really good miso soup. But I've also heard if you want like a bougie or sushi place, that Azuki is really good. I have not been personally, but it has been attested for by many of my friends. And also apparently Sushi Oda, but that place is always booked out, so I haven't been able to go. But comfort food for sushi, it's not too expensive, Sushi Kuchi. And that is all my recs for places to eat. Please comment below any of your favorite spots that I did not mention so I can go try it out and other people can go try it out. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.